Yeah, uh, excellent preseason um, challenge for us. Uh, Louisville's a very talented team. And, you know, we haven't seen that many goals in the, in the game here in a long time. Both given up and, and scored. So, you know, there's a lot, a lot to take away. Um, a lot of positives from tonight. Um, that's, a, that's a really talented Louisville team. They're gonna, they're gonna cause a lot of problems this year for whoever they face. So I wanna, I wanna commend their, uh, their commitment to, to get after it. And their, some attack groups are special. A couple great goals tonight, both teams, class goals. Um, gonna have the feel of a, a regular season game. So when we create these games, we obviously think about what game could be the closest to the game of the real season. That, that felt as real as it can get. Um, both teams obviously were playing hard, and we want to get the result. And uh, the crowd was great. The students were, were fantastic. I mean, that was that felt good. We missed that for a year. So if we can get double that, Know, for Butler and the Classic, we're going to be this place will be rocking. And it helped our team. I mean, you can see that. I mean, everyone, every time they score, there's, we were picked back up and really felt the crowd. So I thought tonight the, the Hoosier Army and the crowd really helped us propel them. So. As you said, maybe a little more intensity than typical of an exhibition match, yeah. including up to the end and maybe a little after the end there. Mm -hmm. uh, anything? Yeah, it was just no. I mean, I think it was two teams that were he didn't, you know, you just don't want anything to. You know, I, I felt at that point it was probably better just to let both teams separate, um, not the way I like to do it, but I felt it was probably the best thing at that point. Um, we rarely have ever had that scenario, um, which is disappointing. But I, mean, I thought we did the, the right thing at the time and just let kind of the cool heads prevail, because um, again, it's, it's two very competitive teams that are aspirations for the year so uh, yeah I mean uh, some uh, you know, we had some talk in the end and obviously I have a great relationship with their coach and we had a good chat and you know everything went good to move forward. You mentioned the goals scored and the goals given up I mean which I guess which pendulum do you swing to you know the, mm -hmm. the positive of the goals scored or the concern with the goals given up? Um, a couple were great goals so sometimes you have to tip your hat and go okay great finish Several, two, maybe three. Obviously, the handball is a unique scenario. Two, of course, um, for sure. Two, we could have dealt better with. I felt, and again, not having a chance to look at the video yet. But two class goals by them, and you know, so yes, that's concerning. At the same time, you know, we've been this team has proven to be very stingy defensively. So I'm not, I'm not worried. Like big picture, um, and sometimes you got to get, you got to get hit a little bit. And, and not that this group wasn't focused, but they also you know, didn't give up much goals in, in last year and certainly in the run. Um, so it's just a, a little reminder that like the smallest details make a difference, and we preach that all the time. So that will give us a good learning heading into the, the, the Notre Dame game. Yeah, kind, of, yeah. kind of a follow to that. Um, did, are you kind of glad maybe that you guys got a little bit of kick in the butt right before the season started? I think, yeah. I mean, you're, you're always trying to make preseason game feel um, as close to a real you know game and that did it felt no different than we play you know some great teams in the spring you get crowds and environments you want it to feel real and that game felt felt real no doubt um, we had some predetermined changes that we were going to do but less than we've had in the last we've rotated much less um, and played it closer to what we might do in situations but we still you know, did a couple things that maybe the scoreline wasn't fully indicative of, of what we would do, but we got closer to it. So in the first two games, we rotated pretty heavily and kind of had some predetermined thoughts in mind that we didn't want to deviate from. So yeah, absolutely, it's great for us to get to get this challenge. Because again, I think they're individually, they have two or three players that you know are as good as anyone that we would face. So that's, that's really good. Different challenge than the first two opponents in the way that their strengths are. Coach, still no, uh, obviously a big deal with the injury today. Sam caused a lot of trouble for the defense, also got the free kick for you. Um, is there a, a partnership that you guys will go with up top, or is there still no answer there? Well, I think you saw, you know, Sam is, is very dynamic. Um, he's constantly probing. Uh, he's got a phenomenal work rate. Obviously, our team last year had different skill sets, so we some of our pressing, some of the things you saw tonight were a little bit different from last year's team. Um, 
but all in the end, we play to our strengths. And this year's team, we do have um, a, a bit more of a pressing mentality with the players and some athletic tools that we didn't have last year, and we want to utilize that. I think Sam and Vic are, are quite complementary, and then Vic is able to, to find great seams and find great passes, and then you have an unbalancing component with with Sarber and Witten, Brink and Herb and Loon, all the guys, and obviously with Tom Malich, I mean, the Vic now hopefully will have some, some I don't want to call them tap ends, but yeah. similar to like our, our third goal the other night yeah. um, was a beautiful sequence where he made it look easy, yeah. although it wasn't, but the, the, the work was done. He just had to find the back of the net. And last year, we probably didn't get as, as, we didn't get as many of those for Vic. He had to kind of work or score beautiful goals or restart. So I'm pleased with that. Um, I think we have a couple different combos up top with Vic, you know, whether it's uh, Tommy, Nate Ward, obviously we know Maloon can play there a little bit. Um, so if we, we are experimenting, but I think Sam and, and Vic are quite in tandem. Yeah. What about the left back spot? How big were you with Wilson's performance today, given that Spencer's still not back fit yet? Yeah, I mean, again, I think this was a great test for our, our midfield and back line because the, the other dynamic attackers were definitely in those spots. And he was challenged. I thought even the the one two that he got beat um, for the PK, you know, he didn't defend that poorly, but it was the smallest little margin, and he's got to get more reps there and get in those situations more often because he didn't play much last year. You know, you think about it, he didn't play much, and so we we, we he is supposed to be a second year player, but he he was hurt really in the second game of the year and didn't come back until really the St. Francis tournament game. Um, but I was overall pleased. Um, and we have a couple other moves Brett Beebe can play. They like tournament. Um, Patrick McDonald, who we didn't use tonight, is doing really well. Uh, just felt like the physicality. I just didn't want him to have any of the confidence lost coming into the game. that had such a, a pace to it, but he played very well in the, the first two exhibitions. And, uh, you know, we experiment balloon and outside back. Nick can go to the left. So we do have moves until Spencer is ready for us. Yeah. And then when we have Spencer back, then we Going into halftime, you scored that goal right before after conceding the third. What was the message going into the breakdown by goal? I mean, I felt that was exactly what we needed. I told the guys at half, I said, This is going to be your game. Like, you'll find a way to win this game. Um, I felt that. I could sense the determination at half. They were they were fired up, like a little bit upset that one, they were in that position, but two, very much motivated. They knew that if they could you know, do a little bit better job defensively and we're going to get our chances, which we, we have a few, obviously. So I liked the way they kind of came in the locker room really ready to go. So I didn't have to say tons. It was a couple uh, tactical things on their press that we struggled with for the first 10 minutes. And then once we kind of broke them and found space, and I felt we made them play where we wanted them to play. Um, that's a team that wants the ball a lot, but you noticed a lot of their distribution ended up being long and, and, and somewhat predictable for our backs. Not all the time, but certainly more than I'm sure they would like. So I was, I was pleased with our kind of defensive shape and, and where we pressed and where we left them available space.